Hi, I'm Greg, a product engineer with Crucial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to expand the internal storage on your Sony PlayStation 5 using the Crucial T500 SSD. Now, before we get started on the install process, go out to the Sony website and ensure that you have the latest and greatest system software updates. Only with the latest system software updates are you able to unlock the expansion bay. Now, the first step in the installation process is to remove the side cover plate. Now, I highly recommend going out to the Sony website and downloading the user manual, which has a step-by-step -step instruction guide on that process. But I'll go ahead and walk you through that here. So the key piece is to have the PlayStation oriented properly. Now we're gonna gently lay the PlayStation down on its side with the PlayStation logo facing down. Now we wanna make sure that the DVD-ROM drive is facing me. And so this will naturally be on my right side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my right hand on this bottom right corner next to the DVD-ROM drive. Now my left hand will be at the top right corner of the cover panel, and I'm gonna put my forefinger just under the edge, and then my thumb down on the console itself. Now it will be a very gentle amount of pressure up and to the right in order to get the cover plate to come off. Now you wanna exercise extreme caution anytime you're applying pressure to an electronic device because we don't wanna damage the console. So if I walk you through that, I will gently push up and to the right and it should pop off very nice and easy. Now you will be able to see the cover plate that covers the expansion bay. That's secured with a Sony set screw that I can remove with a Phillips screwdriver. Once you remove the set screw, the cover plate should slide right off. And now we have access to the expansion bay. You'll notice there's a second set screw and a riser. The T500 is an 80 millimeter length SSD, so we wanna ensure that the riser and the set screw are set to that 80 millimeter position. Now once we've got that riser situated properly, it's time to install the SSD. Now the connector is keyed, so there's only one way to insert this. You can't plug it in upside down. And we wanna use a roughly 30 degree insertion angle when plugging in the SSD. And then we'll push that in place. We'll gently set that down on top of the riser, and then we'll reinstall the set screw to secure it in place. There. Once the SSD is secured, it's time to replace the cover plate. Now once the cover plate is secured, it's time to put the side panel back on. This will be the reverse process of what we did to remove it. We're going to align the grooves on the side panel with the console, and it will be a very gentle sliding motion to the left and down, the opposite direction we did to remove. And then you will be able to hear it click into place. Just like that. Now that you have the SSD installed, you'll plug in the system and power it up. You'll be prompted to format the new drive and you'll wanna go ahead and do that. Take note that this will erase any data you currently have stored on the drive. Now to use the T500 as your primary device, you'll want to go to Settings, then Storage Settings, and manually select the T500 as your default download location. Now you'll need to do this for both your PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 games separately. Once you've done that, you're all set up so that all your new game downloads will go direct to your SSD. And there you have it. You've successfully expanded the internal storage on your Sony PlayStation 5. Now you have plenty of space to store all your games. If you have any questions or for additional information, please visit crucial.com.